if you come at life in a more casual way, and I'm gonna to explain to you what I mean by this in this video, the truth is, is everything works out better in terms of success. And I mean define success, right? You and I might have a different definition of success, but what I've come to learn about coming toward life in a more casual way, when you hang out with people, for example, you don't need their approval. You don't need everybody to like you or have a certain opinion about you. You're just, you're just there, you know? You don't say things because you want people to feel a certain way or you're not even trying to get your point across. You're just here, you're just speaking when you speak, you're just living, you're just breathing. You just are. And there's no insistence on anything. That's what I mean by being casual. Coming at life in this casual way where we're more relaxed, we're more at ease, the things that we do aren't based on wanting some kind of outcome or needing some kind of result. The things we do are based on, you know, we just, we just feel like doing it. And it's just kind of who we are in this moment. You, you see the difference here? Well, whatever your definition of success is, somebody's definition might be success is this number in my bank account and this very attractive person falling in love with me. <laughs> Somebody else's definition might be I'm healthy and I'm happy, you know? Somebody else is living in the top of a tower. Somebody else is living in a hut in the nature. So the best part about what I have to share with you today about coming at life in a much more casual way is that it doesn't matter what your definition of success is, it will work for you. Whatever your life path is, whatever you're here to experience, whatever it is that you're working towards in your life, today I wanna to tell you that you don't need to give up on it. You don't need to stop working towards what you wanna achieve in your life. No, you just, you just gotta calm down a little bit about it. <laughs> and I know that might sound kind of odd, but I'm telling you, if you just calm down and you act more casually, not just act, but you feel more casually towards things, there's a vibrational shift that takes place in our field where quite literally you actually become a vibrational match for all of the things that you desire to experience, whether it's living in the top of the tower or living in a hut or you know, having an attractive partner or a big bank account or just chilling or having good health, whatever it is to you. I personally don't care to tell you what you should want in this video. That would be ridiculous. I believe that what you want can easily be obtained by you and for you. If only you're willing to surrender your need for it. And the reason for this is because when you really need this specific person to want you or to love you, when you really need this money, when you really need the videos you make on YouTube to perform a certain way and do really, really well, that need creates a very intense vibrational resistance, resistance that keeps you separate from achieving the video doing well or having that person like you or having the money want to come and be with you also. The best part is, is that if we can just, and I know we can, I know we can, we can just be okay. Be okay with not having it. If you can come to terms within yourself and, and truly imagine yourself not having all those things you think you want, if you can come to terms with maybe you'll never get them and you can just accept it and become calm with that reality, like, hey, if I never have a huge bank account, I'll be okay. You know, I'm taken care of. I, I mean, it, it, I do want a big bank account, but you know what, it's fine because I know ultimately I'm gonna be okay no matter what. You know, if this person doesn't fall in love with me that I want to fall in love with me, that's okay because, you know, while I do want it to be them, Maybe we're not really meant for each other and I know there's probably someone out there for me, so like, it's okay. I want them to want me, but if they don't, I know I'm gonna survive. It's not the end of the world, right? If my success doesn't happen exactly the way I want it to, you know, 
I'll be all right. Now, here's the interesting thing. When we accept that, when we accept that we might not get these things that we want and we stop needing them, but we continue taking action as in you keep working towards building a relationship with that person you want. You keep moving towards living in that house of your dreams. You keep moving towards, you know, growing your business or your beautiful art or music or your YouTube videos or whatever it is for you. The best part is, is that when you continue taking action, but the action you take doesn't have a needy, clingy energy behind it because you're just casual now, because you understand and realize that you don't actually need that stuff to be okay. You don't need that stuff to live in this moment. Like right now, you're good. Now I get it, you want some more stuff in your life. That's cool. You know, me too, whatever, it's the truth. <laughs> but I don't need it. And you don't need it either. And once you realize it, I know that you'll discover that you're like a powerful magnet. And like all that stuff that you've been fighting really hard to get, it just wants nothing more than to be with you. Isn't it funny that the second you stop wanting something, you can have it? Isn't it funny once you finally decide within yourself, you know what, I don't even want to date that person anyways. They start calling you repeatedly and sending you text messages. <laughs> Isn't it funny that when you go, you know, I don't need all that money. I've got this moment right here. I'm good. All of a sudden, ding, alert to your bank. New money has just been deposited in your account from these strange places you didn't realize money was coming to you from. All the things at the store that you love to buy are all on sale for some reason. See, our universe works in mysterious ways and I'm not gonna claim in this video to know exactly why and how everything is happening. If you guys can bear with me, I feel like getting a little movement here and I'm gonna climb down this rock. I don't know why it works. Can't claim to know why it works, but I know that it does that when you just relax, when you just chill, and you come at life, and the word I love the most is casually. Just be casual, you know? When you walk into the room with some extreme, high expensive, shiny outfit on, and you've done all your makeup up, and you walk in, and you feel like a billion dollars, well, you feel like a billion dollars, but when you try really hard, to feel that way or you try really hard to look a certain way for everybody else to think you're really, you must be a really valuable person. It's just an example, by the way. The funny thing is everybody feels that. It says this vibrational, telepathic, unspoken communication that like that person really either A, thinks they're extremely important, which isn't super attractive, <laughs> or B, they really want all of us to think they're super important and attractive and, and significant and that tells me immediately that something's a little off here. The guy that walks in and they're like, I'm just wearing the outfit I felt like wearing today. Or girl, guy or girl. You know, the person who does what they do at their job and they're just like, this is my job. This is just who I am. This is what I do. You know, I don't, I don't need this to go a certain way. I don't need everybody's approval. This is just what I do. It's who I am. I'm casual about it. You see the difference? When you go and you hit on somebody, hit on them, I know it's not the most uh, compelling way to express this. You see someone attractive to you that you want to go hit on. Girl, guy, whatever. Funny thing is if you go up with an extreme intensity, please, please like me back. Please have this work out well. It's a vibrational like wall you put up and it's extremely uncomfortable. Think about it. You're like subconsciously telling them that like there must be something wrong with you because you're so needy towards them. And it's uncomfortable. It's scary. You could be the most attractive, richest person in the world, but you walk up to somebody with that kind of needy, intense energy, it's not gonna work out well. Unless the person that you're hitting on happens to have grown up in a household where they didn't have like their dad or their mom pay any attention to them. So they feel invaluable within themselves and they want a very clingy person to validate them and make them feel like they matter. But that's a, that's a psychological issue that we need to all come to terms with if that's us. The fact is, is that nobody really wants to be with somebody that's clinging to them. No, nobody who's, who's really solid and balanced in their psyche, just to be honest, it's just the truth, no offense. And the, th the thing is, is that that's the way it is in all of life, in all the categories, with money, uh, career success, happiness, peace, joy. You know the funny thing? 
I wanted to achieve peace for a very long time in my life. The more I wanted it, the more stressful things came into my life until I finally stopped even needing peace. I was like, <laughs> get this, here's a paradox. I'm at peace with not being at peace. Boom, peace was born in my life. So what I'm trying to help you to see is that like, if you just calm down, <laughs> I know that can be hard sometimes when you really, 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 really badly want something. If you just calm down, relax, and come at life more casually, truth is it's not just girls and guys you're hitting on that can feel clingy energy. The universe, reality itself, feels it too. And you repel the things that you want when you intensely want them. So just be more casual, you know? Let go, this is a very sexy way of putting it. So it's an important conversation right now, letting go. I'm actually making a lot of videos about this subject right now because it's completely changed my life for the better. And if you want to see more videos like it, again, just subscribe. You can check out the playlist I've got on my homepage if you're interested to do so. I've got it organized pretty well, I think. I've made some cool shifts on my channel to set things up better for you guys. So definitely check that out. But I like calling it casual living rather than letting go, to be honest. It's just about being casual. It's just about being yourself. It's just about not placing so much importance on the things that you want. And to me, the easiest way to do that is to accept that you might never get them. Just be cool with it. It's a pretty powerful way to make the shift, in my opinion. Uh, something has become very magnetic about me recently, and that's very obvious, not just, not just with YouTube, but just other areas of my life too I won't bore you with. But it's weird because the only thing that's different is I just don't care anymore about getting all the things I used to want. I just, uh, I don't know, not really too interested anymore. <laughs> Uh, I'm not really too extremely interested in anything, actually. I've just become very casual. <laughs> and uh, it's a power that would have been pretty cool to realize years ago, but here it is today. And I hope that it's helped you. I hope that there's some value in this video that you can apply in your life to transform things for the better. Just give it a try because you don't really have anything to lose. Be more casual. Simple message. Much love to you. And I want to let you know, just in case you're interested, I currently have a summer sale going on on all my transformation courses, recordings of live events I've done, workshops and things like this. The link's in the description of this video. The sale ends at the end of this month. The code is SUMMER in all caps. You put it in at checkout, 30% off everything. <laughs> I hope that helps some of you out so you can get that powerful information, work it into your life. Much love to you. Hope to see you in the next Vibes and Frequencies video. See you soon.